Now that summertime is here, we can all rejoice. However, there is a dark side to summertime. Ouch! Bug bites! So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some natural remedies for insect repellent. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome, if you're new here, please subscribe so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So buggy, buggy, buggy time of the year. Nobody likes to get bit by bugs. It hurts, right? So why do bugs bite? There's lots of different reasons. Mosquitoes are attracted to carbon dioxide. Obviously, as humans, we're emitting lots of carbon dioxide. So one thing you could try to do is just stop breathing. I don't think that's going to work, right? So you're not going to really keep them away in that regard. However, you can start putting some things on your skin, natural things, of course, that will deter the bug bites. The best thing to do is make your own natural insect repellent. Essential oils are the way to go. Before I get into those, as a base, you want to use either apple cider vinegar or witch hazel, okay? Or you could even use both. That would be a good base because that in and of itself is part of the repellent part. However, the essential oils are where, really where the power is in the insect repellent. So here are some of the essential oils that you could try. Tea tree oil, very strong, very powerful, very anti-bug, as well as eucalyptus, okay? So these are very strong. They don't smell too good to humans either. Now, there's a few others that we can throw in the mix here. Believe it or not, uh, mosquitoes don't like vanilla. Sounds really weird because humans love the smell of vanilla, but bugs don't like it. And then also citronella is a great one. You know all about citronella from candles. Lemongrass is another really good one. So you can combine all of these into a spray with your base as a natural insect repellent. Now, if you're trying to also keep ticks away, you could also consider adding in their bergamot. Bergamot's another essential oil. Now, when it comes to ticks, you don't want to avoid getting ticks on you like the plague because there's always the potential of getting Lyme disease, which can be very serious. So when you're going out into the woods or somewhere in an area where you might get exposed to ticks, you're gonna to wanna to cover a good portion of your body with clothing, okay? Uh, and then you could spray that clothing with something besides something natural. Just don't put like the powerful stuff like DEET and all that on your skin. That's not good. For your skin, you wanna use more natural stuff, okay? You're probably gonna to have to spray pretty often if you're trying to keep the ticks away though. Mosquitoes, you might be able to get away with a uh, shorter period, I'm sorry, a longer period of time with the spray. So anyway, you're gonna to wanna to make your own spray. You could even consider using garlic topically. I don't think your friends would like the way that you smell, but that's another way to keep the bugs away. Eating it, not quite as good. You could try it, but I'm not sure how many results you'll get from that. Uh, that's one thing you could do is make your own natural insect repellent uh, because you're not gonna stop breathing and you're not gonna not go outside, all right? So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Any comments, please leave them below. Thanks and take care, bye. 